All right, it's time for a rosy outlook. Well, okay, maybe just a rosy look. <laughs> hey lovelies, I am here today to bring you a lot of the new things that I have. Uh, I, did, I did some damage, and honestly, most of these things are sort of like impulse buy slash FOMO buys from the end of the Sephora sale. Did anybody else do that? <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you some of the last few things that I got during the sale. So one of the stars of today's show, if you will, is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. Uh, I think I talked about this in my Sephora live haul or my spring haul that I did. Uh, I said that I, this was on the way, it was finally delivered. If you can tell, I already have fingerprints all over this baby because I actually filmed this video yesterday. Well, I evidently filmed about half of it, maybe about halfway through. My memory card must have filled up and I never noticed and I just kept yammering on and having a good old time with all of you. It just, it just wasn't filmed. So the plus side of this is you're actually gonna get to see two eye looks because I'm going to insert the first eye look that I did and then we'll get to use all of the other stuff together. <laughs> so some of the other things we're gonna be using are a few of the Charlotte Tilbury pretties I got. I did, I did, I picked this beautiful baby up. I also got another beauty light wand because why not? Let's just put all of them all over my face. You know that I love those and I did pick another one up. I also have a new lipstick to try. We've got all sorts of things. I'm gonna be doing some comparisons. I'm ready to get into this, but if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this. I think what I am going to do is show you right now the first look that I did with the Patrick Top palette, just because that's where I started yesterday and it was my first impressions of this palette. So while it was a bummer that I didn't get the rest of my face filmed yesterday, it was actually a great opportunity to be able to do a second look because I definitely had some things that I wanted to try out. So we're gonna show that first one right now and then we'll hop into the second look with me now. All right, in honor of the rosy moment, I put in my little like rosy silk scrunchie. Oh, I'm so excited to use this palette. Okay, so I have a few people to blame this for. I would like to blame Rupi Minhas. I would like to blame <laughs> my friend Kara from Beauty and the Frizz and also Lauren May Beauty. Um, I had no intention of buying this palette at all and I was talking to Kara and she said that she was really enjoying it so I started watching a couple videos and I was like, wow, this does look really pretty. I mean, okay, so obviously Charlotte Tilbury brought out another Pillow Talk quad and I thought, well, for just a little bit more, I can get all of these shades. I've got some beautiful cream shades that I'm really excited to dip in. You know I love a good cream eyeshadow moment. And so I just I just did it and it came and I was like, I should probably return this. And then I watched Millie from Bad to the Brow do her video and I was like, or not, or I should just keep this. So I kept it, we're gonna dive in. Uh, you know, I'm gonna dip into these cream shadows right now. So first I'm just taking a fluffy synthetic. This is actually the Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush. I'm going into the lighter cream shade and I'm just going to pop this sheerly all over the lid. Now, if you, again, are new to my channel, <laughs> you may not know how obsessed I am with anything. I mean, truly, it's more like rose gold than anything, but you know, if you get me a good blush moment, a good millennial pink shade, uh, I'm here for it. So I'm excited to be trying this out. Oh, this is like a really pigmented uh, eyeshadow. I probably didn't need to dip my brush in so enthusiastically, let's say. Okay, sorry, I just turned my light up just a little bit so that you guys could see. I was just doing a little swatch party before and I try not to have the lights up too high just so you can really see the magic of the eyeshadows, but right now we just need a little bit more light. So uh, this is beautiful. Like I could just very easily boop, 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 pop another like shimmer shadow over the lid, be done. I would probably like run a little bit of this underneath, but already I'm really liking that. So to blend out that edge, I'm going to take a little small brush. Let's go ahead and go in with this KJH 13. And I'm gonna go into the lightest shade in the palette, that like kind of like peachy moment. Every time I pull this palette up, I feel like I'm gonna blind you. So I just want to go along the edge here and like soften that out. All right, I'm just like extending this out really far. I will say, every time I do this on camera, it looks like I have like a 
like a stop right here. Like it's not blended, but it's actually just my bone structure. When I turn more, I think you can, <laughs> you can see that that's better, but my bone structure right there, it just like has a curve. So it creates a shadow. So I promise it's, it's blended. All right, that is super, super pretty. So I think what I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of that darkest cream shade and go on a Sigma flat definer. And I'm just gonna push this like super close to the lashes. I will say, I feel like these cream shades definitely need to be set. I probably, uh, I probably would have done that first. I just wanted to see like, I know that they weren't gonna completely set down, but they're quite emollient. This shade, this deepest cream shade is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeliner. It's maybe just a slight bit more brown, but it has that like rosy, ready, tint to it. Oh, very, very flattering for blue and green eyes. Let's go ahead. You know that I am very tempted to take this shade right here. Kara and I were talking on Marco Polo and she was like, it's sort of like Tucana from Davina, but not really like a more mainstream version. And that's, that looks really pretty because it has that pink to gold shift, but I think I'm going to go with the more like nudie mauve shade. I don't know. There's just something about this more like, like I said, like a millennial pink that's just calling to me right now. So I'm just going to put that above that dark cream. I'm probably gonna end up setting that dark cream. Mm, okay, so this is not wanting to pick up on this Refer 21 brush. I'm just gonna come in with a um, silicone applicator just to kind of like mimic a finger. I don't, I don't wanna use my fingers right now. Okay, I like that. It is... Mmm, it is the softer side of a flaky texture, if that makes sense. Like, it's a bit squishy in the pan, and, you know, you do want to kind of, like, smooth it out, whether it is with a silicone applicator, or you do want to kind of, like, come through and tap your finger on. Right now, my nails have just grown so long that, uh, I am just gonna, I'm gonna end up with that everywhere, so I'm just gonna stick with the, the spatula or the applicator. I keep calling them spatulas. It's a silicone applicator, Kelly. We're gonna take the medium, like, mauve shade. This one here, I'm, I'm tempted to go just more. All right, so eh, I might, like, mix these two shades right here to go in my crease. I really feel like I just need to make sure that that cream shade is really set. And so we're gonna mix those two just to kind of deepen it up and then get everything set. These mattes do have a good amount of kick up. They're very, they're like soft, but not, they're soft, but they're not like super powdery. They are a very like buttery blend. They, they I mean, they really do blend nice. I know I'm blending it over a cream, which always kind of like helps, but very, very beautiful formula. All right, I'm going back in to that lightest shade and I'm just gonna run some right through the front. I ordered one of the new Laura Mercier caviar sticks. The brand did this like line. I think there were like four new caviar sticks all in kind of like rosy moments and I got the, I think it's called Strike a Rose. It, it was the total like perfect rose gold one. I was hoping to be able to use that on my inner corner and lash line, but alas, it did not it did not get here in time. So I'll have to use that in a future look, but that was what I was planning on using. I think I might just use um, the highlighter palette in all honesty, or not the palette, but our beautiful Charlotte Tilbury right here. I think I'll probably pop that on as my highlight because there's nothing in this palette that I would use as an inner corner shade, really. I mean, I can do a matte inner corner with that lightest shade, but if I want a shimmer, there's not really anything that I would use. So I would probably just end up pulling out my highlight anyway. Okay, I'm just reworking whatever's left on this flat shader brush. I'm reworking it over the top of what I had laid down just because I feel like uh, the shimmer got a little bit on it. I'm just gonna be going for like a smudgy smoky moment. So I'm just wiping whatever cream is left on that flat definer off. And then I'm going into the deepest matte in the palette and I'm just going to press this right over the top just to set it. And then right at the very edge, I'm just coming through and giving it a little whisk just to like soften it. Again, I'm not looking for it to look necessarily like liner per se. I just want it to be like a smudgy moment, like kind of like this is the makeup that I wore to a party. 
and I was out all night having fun and I just got that like smudgy, sexy model off duty vibe going on. All right, so now I'm gonna take the Blend Bunny B2 and I'm just gonna take that middle shade, not the lightest one, but the next one down to run underneath my lash line. This I feel like uh, goes on a little bit darker than you think it's gonna be. I think it's just because these are really saturated mattes. And so, you know, sometimes you have to put a color on and like build it up a little bit to get the color that you want. That is not the case with these. These will be <laughs> the color that you're expecting out of the pan. Okay, Patrick. I have to say, I'm, I'm really impressed. Like, I love this. I love this look. I mean, obviously this is a very, this is a very Kelly vibes look. I cannot wait to do something a little bit even deeper and smudgier. I really like this. If you like a good, like, sexy, mauve pink moment. Like to me, these aren't, these aren't like your little kid pinks. These are like grown up sexy bitch pinks. I am all about it. All right, so now, since I was talking about it, I might as well use the Pillow Talk Eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury on my waterline. And then I'm gonna go through with the Legendary Lashes. I have this sample that I probably need to use up. So I'm gonna go through with Legendary Lashes Volume 2. So I will be back and then we can finish our Rose Glow moment. Hello and welcome back. So I really quickly wanted to run over what I already am wearing on my face. It's the same as what I was wearing in the look that you just saw. I just put on the same base partially for continuity's sake, but also because I'm just really loving it. So I went through with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I did actually purchase that one during the sale. I got a sample at Sephora one day when I was perusing for the sale as we do, and I ended up really enjoying it. I did order it. I just don't have it yet, but I have this little sample, so I've still been using that one. And then I pulled out the Lancome Tentidol Ultra Wear Concealer. This one I got a sample of at some point and used it for quite a while, loved it, purchased it, and then it was still in the box because I'm sure between the time that I really enjoyed this one and ordered it, I had already gotten a couple others that I've been using. So I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't opened this one up yet. So that's what I have on today. I really like the finish here. I have not really powdered. I did powder slightly under my eyes, but everything else is is just the foundation. So I'm feeling radiant. And actually for the first time, uh, both yesterday and today, so I guess for the first and second time, I applied it with a damp beauty sponge. I hadn't done that before. I really like how it just left it even more sheer and obviously a little bit more hydrated. So as you saw in the last look, I really did something that was more on the like, quick, easy, lighter side, a little smoky liner. So I think today I'm gonna go for some major drama. Now, because I did say that I was curious to see how these shadows would perform without the creams, I think that's what I'm gonna do today is not touch the creams since I used both of them in yesterday's look. And so since we kind of like stayed on this side of the palette today, I think I'm gonna like work over into this side, get a little dark and smoky. I'm really excited for that. So that's gonna be what we're doing. So first, I'm just gonna take the second lightest color in the palette and go through with the KJH 10 brush. And I'm just going to like sweep this over my entire lid and a little bit up into the crease. I'm just gonna kind of like build as we go here. This tone, this like second shade here is, I would say like a slightly rosier version of the lightest cream that's in the palette, which you know, it's kind of nice to have that tone just to be able to blend from cream to powder when you are using those creams, but even this color on its own is blending out really, really nicely. That was one thing that I noticed yesterday is like these mattes, they blended so nicely and I was like, well, I can't tell if that's because I'm doing it over the top of a cream or if they just blend really nicely. All right, I'm going to take the lightest shade and then just kind of like dust that edge. All right, so first I went through with these two. Now I'm gonna start working with these two. So the second to darkest is more like a like a rustier red. Definitely has a little bit more orange to it. That's one thing that I think is really interesting about this palette. You know, you have a little bit more cool rosy tones and then you do have a couple more, you know, like rusty shades. So it's really nice that there's like a variety of tones in here. I mean, when you look at it, it doesn't look like there is, but, but there really is. And I mean, wow, that is building up really, really nicely. Okay, it's time for the drama. We're gonna take the deepest shimmer shade, damp on a brush. Now these shimmers are definitely more of like that creamy feel that, you know, when, sometimes when you try to pick it up with a brush, it gets a little bit flaky almost. 
but I found that, um, you know, having a brush, either using a silicone spatula that you can kind of almost scoop a little out and tap it onto the lid, or a brush that has more, a more toothsome feel to it. That way you can, you know, use, I don't want to say the roughness of the brush, but you can like kind of pick up some of that. Now this darkest shimmer is, it has some beautiful color, but it's almost a little bit, it's coming off a little bit more satin on the lid. It's not like super shimmy. So I'm gonna take that rusty shimmer. Ooh, this is pretty. And I'm gonna pop this right over the lid. Okay, I really, I really like that. So, wow, I mean, this has so much depth to it and I didn't even use the darkest matte yet. Okay, so I'm going to take the Blend Bunny B2 and just work a little bit of that darkest matte just out into the corner here and along the bottom, like just the outer bottom. Okay, then I'm taking that deep rusty shade and we're gonna run this along the rest of the lower lash line. Hello, drama. <laughs> wow, okay, this is very beautiful. Uh, we definitely got a lot of depth out of this. Like, this is gorgeous. I It's been a while since I've worn something kind of like dark and smoky, but also neutral, you know? Like, I'm digging this. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw on some liner and some mascara. Uh, just like yesterday, I'm gonna use the Pillow Talk liner on my waterline, and I'll probably use a nice black on the uh, upper tight line. And lots and lots of mascara. I would wear with lashes, but I just don't feel like dinking around with them today, so just lots of mascara. I'll be right back. All right, here we have our finished eye look. I love this. I love this. I definitely have some thoughts on this palette, and I will be sharing those at the end of this video. But I feel pasty AF. I feel so, so light. <laughs> so it's time to add a little bit of color to the face. So first we need to add some depth and dimension and tone to the skin. So I'm going to go through with the Vision Flush in Nutcracker from Danessa Myricks. I really like this. Uh, this for me is definitely more of a like contour shade. So it's really just more gonna sculpt than anything. I believe the shade Toasted Almond would be a better one if you're looking for, you know, a little bit of bronzing moment, but I just want to kind of like get a little shape going on and of course a little bit of depth, but this is so, so nice. I did think about, since I have all these other Charlotte Tilbury products that I'm using, I did think about pulling out the uh, contour wand, but you all know that I love that one and you've seen me use it on my channel before. So I think maybe I've only used this one once. I mean, look, look how nicely that just like blends out. I mean, this is such a nice tone because it's cooler, but it's not like a gray based. <laughs> it's not like, whoa, okay, she's dead. You know, like, so sometimes, I mean, I like a, I like a good cool toned contour, but sometimes if it's like too cool, it's just easy to like over apply or, you know, get it to where it doesn't look very natural. But that, I mean, that already, I just feel like, oh, okay, I've got a little shape to my face again. And I love the way that Vision Flush looks on the skin because it's very, very skin-like. It's not overly dewy. It just has a nice satin quality to it. So love these, love them so much. I have a couple other shades that I wear as blushes. They are, Danessa does say, just like with most of her products, that you can wear them anywhere on your face, your eyes, your lips, your cheeks, whatever. On the lips, they're a little floral. I don't know if this one, I know that uh, Sweet Nectar yeah, they're, they have a floral smell to them and I don't love putting them on the lips for that reason. I haven't worn it on the eyes. I would think it would crease just a little bit, but I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I need to try that out at some point. Anyway, we're gonna move on to blush. I just pulled out this little mini of Hope from Rare Beauty. This is, of course, their liquid blush and I don't know that I've used this shade. It is one of the like newer shades. And of course, you know that a little bit of this goes a very long way. I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, beauty sponge here and just add a little bit of this. Yesterday, I yesterday I kind of just went in with a little bit of like a light blushing, but I actually today with this eye look, I do think I want like a decent amount of blush just to kind of like balance it out. 
Mm-hmm, I like that, a lot. I mean, as long as you don't use too much, these Rare Beauty blushes are so, so good. I just saw it over here in my other drawer of shame that I have. I should probably go through that with you guys at some point. But I saw this one down there and I was like, ooh, I should probably pull these out. So now let's get into some shimmer. So I have two highlighters to use with you today. So I have the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand, the one in like the regular shade because I already have the number two, which is the medium. And I swatched this in Sephora and I was like, oh, I need to get this one. It is just too, too pretty. So I'm gonna pop it on my hand here and then put it next to the medium. So in case you have one or the other of these, you can see these. So uh, the top one here is Pillow Talk and then the bottom one is Pillow Talk Medium. So I also have right next to me this LYS uh, Aim High Liquid Highlighter in Genuine. So I thought I would put this on and show you guys this one as well. This is in my deck of panning uh, project this month. And so I was like, well, I might as well pull this one out too. So this one definitely has a bit of a different formula to it. It's a little bit more liquidy, but I really think that this one is like the combination of these two. If you blended these two together in like the right amounts, you would get this. So if you happen to have this one, just know that, you know, maybe you don't need both of these. Uh, maybe if you have both of these, you don't need this one, but I am just going to use the light one today, the Pillow Talk, uh, it's not light, but the Pillow Talk regular, not the Pillow Talk medium. Honestly, this one, if I do wear it, it has to be a blush. I thought about wearing it today as my blush, but that would just be like super sheeny because then we're gonna go through with this one and then we're gonna go through with this one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> so first we're just gonna take the Beauty Light Wand and then I'm just using my finger to blend this one out. I mean, look at that shade. That is just gorgeous. It's like so stunning. It's very highly reflective, but not in like an overly metallic way, you know? Like it just looks super juicy. It looks like I just got back from having a facial done at the spa. Mm-hmm. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to set down a little bit, I am gonna go through with my RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm just going to powder a couple spots on my face. I just don't wanna get like too sheeny shiny today, so I'm just kinda running this over my T-zone. Like I said, the only place I had set before was my under eye, and by the way, can I just say, I got like almost no fallout from using those shades. That was pretty impressive. So now let's talk about this Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlight. So I don't love, I don't love this. I don't love the look of this, like this quilted multi-stripe package. It very much reminds me of like a physician's formula type feel. I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't love the look of it. There's just something about it, but I love I love this. This is so stunning. <sighs> when I was in store and I, I'm just like, this is so pretty. It's like this opalescent, like beautiful situation. Ooh, I've already got fingerprints on it. And then when I swatched it, that's when I really fell in love. I mean, if you take your finger and you run through all of this, it is this beautiful, like pinky tone. And this really is like this pink champagne tone. It's this one right here. Sorry, I do still have a little glow from before, but this one I think is pretty unique in my collection. I have a lot of rose golds, as you can probably imagine. I have some champagnes, but I don't really have a lot in that like pinky champagne where it's not overly warm. Like to me, rose gold is warmer and this definitely is leaning more into that like cooler tone. So it was different for me and it's beautiful. And I don't know if I'm gonna like wear this as a necklace or something <laughs> because I love the outer packaging. And it's like, but what do I do with that? Like, it's not like I'm wearing it anywhere. I mean, the only time I'm gonna appreciate it is when I'm using it. It's not like other people are gonna see what a pretty compact I have, but whatever. So I'm just gonna dust this over the top. We are gonna be so, so highlighted. <laughs> oh my God, it's been a long time since I've worn this much highlight, but I'm just gonna embrace the moment today. And then I always like to go, if I'm wearing a powder highlight, I always like use my finger to sort of like blend and tap it into the skin. 
in that Patrick Ta palette, there really isn't anything that I can use as a highlighter shade, like nothing. So I'm just going to go in and we're just gonna take the second stripe here, if you will. That is one nice thing about this kind of design. I mean, I don't, it's, I think it's the embossing. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't love the look on the inner compact, but it really does make it nice if you, you know, want to strategically use each of these shades, you can definitely do that. You know what, actually, I think I'm going to use this darker pink on the inner corner. Yeah, I, I like that because it almost like, it's a highlight, but it's not like too light of a highlight. That's nice. And then yesterday what I did was I also used the lightest shade on my brow bone. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm liking the way that this is looking, but just knowing in that other look, I did use this as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. So that is looking great. I'm feeling good. Now all we have to do is do a lippy. And the one that I'm gonna do today is the Merit Signature Lip. I'm so excited to try this formula. Well, I'll be honest, I tried it yesterday, but I'm excited to be using this formula. This is the shade Baby. And this one I snagged the minute the sale went live. I know everybody was trying to snag this one. I did get it. Uh, I'll show it to you here. I'm just gonna pop it on next to the highlight. So I did get two shades. I got this one and Fashion. And this to me is almost like a Pillow Talk dupe. I would say I will put this on and then I will pull out Pillow Talk because I think that this is a pretty darn good dupe. So this formula, again, now that I've actually used it, I can tell you it feels super comfortable on the lips. Right away when you use it, it has a very creamy, balmy feel to it. Like, and it feels like it's gonna be more of like a shinier lipstick, but after a minute, this almost like sets down a little bit and it really is more of that like satin feel. But at first when you put it on, it's so, so creamy and it just feels super comfortable. So this is what this looks like on its own. I like that these are somewhat sheer. You can build them up a decent bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip liner. I'm gonna go ahead and go through with the Pillow Talk lip liner. So I'm just gonna pop this on for some definition. Okay, so here is the final look. I just added a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. I think it's a dead ringer. Like I think that this color is like a very, very close and these lipsticks are much less expensive. I think Merit is at a pretty decent price point. They're not exactly like inexpensive, but they aren't outrageous either. So I just wanted to give you guys this up close look at my very highlighted face. Holy smokes. All right, I definitely have some thoughts on all the products that we used. We're gonna get into that right now. Okay, lovelies, let's chat about this whole rosy situation. I have to tell you right now, my vanity is like looking like my dream. Everything is in this beautiful blushy rose gold millennial pink packaging, and I am here for it. <laughs> so first, first off, let's talk about the Patrick Ta palette. I'm sorry I keep blinding you, but you can see here this like rose gold chaos that's going on. Okay, so... <sighs> I love this palette. I love this palette. Like there is just something to the quality of this. I'm so glad that I kept this palette. So thank you to everybody that gave me the FOMO to buy it and made me keep it. That's all I have to say. But I think that this is such a nice option if you are into those deeper, rosy, warm, like like rusty rose and mauvey rose. Cause I think that you really get both of those in this palette. Like I think that there is a nice variety of tones in here. The only thing that there isn't a lot of variety in though is depth <laughs> because a lot of this, like even these tones on the eye, they actually come up, you know, pretty saturated. So I think that if you are a fair skinned person, you have to like a really deep look. Like these are gonna look pretty deep on you, you know? And I mean, beautiful, but I think that, you know, just staying into these two, is going to be like your maybe like everyday wearable look. So you really have to like a good like amped up eye look. But I think that this is gonna be gorgeous on deeper skin tones as well. I love that this is gonna be a palette that's gonna be utilizable for deeper skin tones. So I pulled out a couple palettes just to chat a little bit in comparison. So right away, you know, this palette launched right around the time that Charlotte Tilbury's new Pillow Talk palette came out. and. Uh, my friend Jennifer from Al Feisty, she was doing like a poll on her Instagram about like, hey, do you think that I should pick one of these up? Do you think I should pick both up? What do you wanna see? And even before I was interested in this one, I said, this to me seems like that palette with more options. You know what I'm saying? And this one I believe is 65. That one was like 52, 54, something like that. And I think you get 
a similar vibe, a deeper vibe, but a similar vibe. So I also pulled out uh, one of the only Charlotte Tilbury palettes that I've like purposely bought. I got one in like a mystery box, but this is the Fire Rose Quad. And again, similar vibe, sorry that I'm probably blinding you all, but so that, I think you really get a similar color story and I know a lot of people felt like they missed out on this one. I also wanted to pull out Natasha Denona Retro. Not the same, but I'm gonna be honest. While you have a couple warmer rosy tones in here, this one definitely you have more warm, rosy, rosy, rusty options like I keep saying. Here's the thing though. Yes, this one has more shades. <clears throat> I think this one is more user-friendly. I really do. I think that the Natasha Denona formulas sometimes, you know, I was just talking to a friend about this. Like sometimes they, they perform beautifully. Like all of her different formulas perform well, but sometimes it's like, well, this one works better with a natural hair brush. And this one works better with a synthetic brush. And this one, you know, you have to be careful because they're super pigmented and they tend to be harder to like blend. Whereas this, I think you're just going to get a beautiful option. If you're a cream lover, of course you get the two creams in here too, which is going to be really nice. And heads up on that, uh, in my first look, I had said that I was worried about the longevity of my look because I had laid down a cream, put eyeshadow over the top from this palette. And then I had used a little bit of the cream as like a like a liner that I had topped with powder as well. And I was worried because it transferred when I curled my lashes, like some of it transferred to the lash curler. Let me tell you. <laughs> so I did not get any creasing all day and I didn't wear a primer. Um, I didn't wear a primer today either. And I'm honestly, I have a feeling it's gonna be fine, but I got a massage yesterday afternoon. So, you know, and my face is like in the face cradle smushed down. And I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, I have to go to yoga class after this. I'm, I'm just gonna have to like wash my face off. I'm just gonna have to wash everything off because I was thinking like all of that cream would just be smeared everywhere. And you know what? It wasn't. The sparkle had come off a little bit and you know, things had faded a smidge, but that hadn't budged. That liner didn't budge. Nothing, nothing moved other than like my mascara. So, I was highly impressed. I don't know if these just take a while to dry down more or, I mean, because it had been hours, right? So they'd probably set as well as they were gonna set by then, but very, very impressed. So this is definitely very highly approved by me. And by the way, I will have all of these products linked down below if you do wanna shop. Of course, there'll be affiliate links. You do not have to use them, but if you wanted to support, that is awesome. But let's move into some of these other things. I honestly, I don't feel like I got a bad one in the bunch. I knew that I was going to love this. Like unless something weird happened with the shade and it made me look like a pink diamond tin man, like if it was like overly frosty, that would be the only thing that, that would have kept me from loving this. I love this formula. This one I am so impressed with. I'm glad that I got it. Again, it was a total, well actually both of these were like an impulse buy. That's what you get for going into Sephora and touching things. So if you don't wanna spend money, don't go into Sephora, don't touch anything. But. I was kind of, I was on a search for some little pretties. It had been a stressful day. Yes, I stress shopped, okay? Don't judge me, <laughs> but I'm glad to have this one. I think it's gonna be nice for, I probably won't wear it topped over a highlight. Like I will probably wear it a little bit more soft than this on the everyday, but I do like the tone of this. I will definitely also get used with this as an inner corner and brow bone highlight like I did. If I'm using a palette that doesn't have a lot of light bright options, this will be very nice. Uh, the blush. I mean, this is not new by any means, but this really made me realize how much I do love this formula. This is definitely one of my favorite cream liquid formulas. As long as you don't use too much, they are gorgeous. Love the Vision Flush. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this one. By the way, I'm going to swatch this next to the two Beauty Light ones because I have both of the Charlotte Tilbury ones. So what I'll do is, uh, did I say Beauty Light ones? I meant contour ones. I will swatch this on my Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you are following me over there at Keep Beauty Real if you want to see all the things. And then the Merit Lipstick was definitely a winner for me. I'm slightly regretting, like I said, not getting more of the colors, but really calm down, Kelly. Like. <laughs> I, I bought two. I bought two lipsticks. We're good. That's all I need right now to add into my collection, but I'm really liking it. I cannot wait to try the other shade Fashion. Maybe that will be coming in a future video. Who knows? All this was really great. Is that it? Is that everything? Oh, I never told you. On my eyes, I did end up going with the Pillow Talk eyeliner, and then I actually used the Wayne Goss Hazel Liner on my 
upper lash line, like super close to the lashes and in my tight line. It's like a really deep, rich brown. I really like that. And then of course I went through with gobs and gobs of my favorite rose gold package mascara. My favorite mascara in general, but I love that it's rose gold as well. The Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara, love that one. Those are not new. None of that is new, but they're all great. So I feel very glam. I feel very much like this is like that Victoria's Secret runway, sexy, smoldery vibe. I'm here for it. I also felt the same yesterday. Like I just felt like a pretty, a pretty lady. I don't, I don't know how to say it. Like it was a very basic B look, but in a great way. I just felt confident all day. So gotta love that. Gotta love you for sticking with me. I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day to spend it with me. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a like on your way out. It really does help me out. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I am certainly going to have a more rosy outlook on today with this beautiful rosy look. <laughs> Thanks lovelies. I'll see you really soon.